today was nothing short of amazing. So today we're going to discuss none other than my jazzy life. And before we get into the video, I just want to put a quick little note out there for the people who like to bully and the people who think they could play with me out of all people. I just want to inform you that I'm actually funny in real life and I will hurt your feelings. So I would tread very lightly. I would cease all playing with me right now. And with that being said, friends, let's roll the clips. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. So, you guys, sorry. Um, just a side note, I, Chris actually went early this morning. Um, so I didn't have to go and got me. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. So, you guys, sorry. Um, just a side note, I Chris actually went early this morning, um, so I didn't have to go and got me a oil change, and he got me four new stinking tires. So that's money that I didn't have to spend. I'm so grateful for that. I didn't even know he left and went this morning, baby, <laughs> because I was already spending money in my face, y'all. I've been picking at it, so I know. Y'all gonna tell me, don't be doing that, Jasmine. I know. I need to stop doing it. So yeah, I went and got an oil, he went and got an oil change, but my thing is I hate when they do this. When they give me an oil change, thank you, and they don't freaking turn my <laughs> check engine light off. So my check engine light is actually on right now. So I'm about to go back over here in the back and tell them like I didn't turn off my check engine light. Why did they do that? You can go. I don't know. Okay, Jazz, I'm gonna start off by telling you, it doesn't sound like a side note as you stated. It sounds like your weekly report. Like I said in a previous video, look guys, I did this. Look guys, I'm listening. You don't have to explain anything to us. You don't have to prove that he is this doting, financially stable man to us. No, if he proves it to you, then just show him your gratitude. We don't need to hear about it. It makes it so obvious that this man really isn't worth shit and he doesn't do shit because every single time somebody says something, whether it be a reactor or a commenter or whoever, you have to come and report suddenly miraculously chris is doing all of these things why wasn't he doing it before i don't believe that man woke up and got your oil change i'm gonna be honest but if he did kudos to the both of you he's doing what he should be doing it's like redundant at this point point. and as far as the new four tires i mean i hope the fuck he did i really do and i know you heard a lot of people complaining about you getting new tires, including myself, but I mean, it was necessary. This is not something to be celebrated. This man drives that car more than you. Of course, he replaced the tires, I hope. My check engine light, why did they do that? You can go. I don't know, but yeah. Jazz, I know it was an honest mistake, but I have a feeling that the universe is telling you, check that engine because i mean it is an 05 and it seems like the car is coming to a slow demise i hope not i'm just saying and as far as it actually being the check oil light i think maybe chris took that car around the corner and dumped some fucking canola oil in it and told you he got your oil change you might want to recheck that <laughs> let's continue when i actually went to walmart to go get a few things i kind of want my kids to all not really mad they're not really matching because you know aiden has his own outfit but you know they have their own little their own little outfits and stuff i want them just to, they're gonna look all cute okay basically and i feel like you know if everybody get their own little stuff it, it'll feel more like a, a trip and stuff like that i got me a guinea pad girl because i'm gonna put everything in there i'm not carrying that purse um 
but I think Chris is actually gonna carry the diaper bag to be completely honest with you guys. That's good to know, Jazz. I'm really happy for you. I'm glad that you were able to get the kids some things for the trip. And girl, let me be honest, Chris should be carrying the diaper bag. <laughs> yes, Jazz, make him work for that Nike, okay? I'm about to go back here and be like, look, I just got an oil change and y'all didn't turn off my light. So can y'all turn off my light, please? Or no, cause baby, about to pull up in here right now. That bothers me because it still says check engine. I mean check uh oil change. And I just he just put got me one and it says it right there. Jazz, he put canola oil in that car, girl. I am telling you, I can feel it. Let them double check. He didn't get no oil change. I'm telling you. That man put pure canola oil <laughs> and told you he got you an oil change, but I mean okay he got one done right he got it done yeah and then the kids are eating something small and simple today too because i just don't have time to be doing extra stuff jazz let's be honest when have you ever done anything extra for those children when it comes to meal time especially like stop the cap you're gonna give them their typical tv dinners aren't you it's okay i see you girl you know room wasn't built overnight as long as they're eating, hopefully they'll be eating better soon. Let's continue. So he gonna come take a look at it. Jazz, I'm telling you, let the oil change go. I guarantee you this right here is exactly what the fuck Chris used. Trust me, go interrogate him. Ask him if you really got an oil change. Ask him. But yeah, I'm, girl, look. I'm so ready for this trip. You know, I've never been anywhere like this before. And um, I could have got the twins free. I'm irritated about that. Twins could have got free, but when I was doing it, it made me pay for them. So that was dumb. That was real dumb. Hey, I really was irritated and it's non-refundable. That's another thing I hate, but hold on. Yeah, it's saying it's, it keeps saying uh, oil change required, and I just got it today. Gotcha. Uh, let me search it up because I can't write on this one. Okay. Uh, what year is it? Two thousand and five, I think it is. And what does this mean? A B S mean? Uh, I think this has to do something with the uh, with the brakes. Um, okay. Jazz, it's okay. Don't worry. I mean, it is a loss, but remember you get to the bags so it's pretty much a drop in the bucket for you and would somebody please fucking tell her there's canola oil in that car if i hear oil change one more time i am gonna lose my shit and what kind of man is chris this man can't look on your dashboard and tell you what's going on with the car like at least like give you an idea of what it may be this guy is a whole thick <laughs> voluptuous boy like he really is a boy a man child i cannot okay so it's off but this freaking traction button is on i'm not i don't even care um he said it's nothing bad he said older cars have them whatever you know keep from sliding um so all that's taken care of i'm glad the car is all good for the trip jazz because lord knows your ancestors spared you <laughs> with that tire blow. And why isn't Chris doing all of this stuff with the car? Like, I don't get it. He's just like, really just a man child. Wow. I'm so excited. I y'all, I could not sleep last night. I, my anxiety was so bad. Um, you know, I feel like I had to get stuff done. And Chris was like, babe, what's going on with you? I was like, I can't sleep. I just got so much on my mind. I was looking, one, I was trying to figure out my ticket situation, like how to get, you know, get the money back. <laughs> Woo, child, not the bag lady herself concerned about some little ticket money. Wow, Jazz, wow. <laughs> and then I was trying to figure out, like, oh, what am I going to buy for the kids? I want them to match. I want them to, all, you know, when you go on trips, you just want all your kids to have new clothes. Like, that. that's me. When I go on trips, I want everybody to have their own new outfit and that's what's going on okay jazz i get that you're trying to seem like you know the super mom 
for your new viewers because you've been getting dragged like all through the YouTube mud. I understand. But let's be honest, we all know you have never taken those kids anywhere. So what trips do you speak of and where are the vlogs? And now, now that the reactors and the people are saying that you need to, you know, groom your kids and have them looking more presentable, now all of a sudden you're purchasing new things for them, which is great. I am glad you're purchasing new things for them, but let's be honest, let's stop the cap. You ain't been nowhere. This is their first time. And listen, like I said, Rome was not built in a day. Like this is progress. So I will give you credit for that. But I see that you listen. You're literally reacting to reactors. So you're low key a reactor. I know it might hurt to hear that, but you are. Let's continue. Um, I was supposed to go get my shot today, but I am not gonna go. I don't have time to go, go get it. I just got a lot of stuff I have to do to before I go get that. So I might have to just wait till next week. So it's a whole week without my shot. Girl, I am glad you're holding off on this shot because honestly, you do not need to be all coca cola up on this trip with the kids because the last time that shot had you out here looking like Whitney Houston at the BET Awards, I could not take it. So this is a good thing. Just wait, wait, wait until next week. It is what it is. You know, I, I'm focused on my kids and having a good time. And everything and really trying to focus on finding a place. That's another thing. Like, I want to move, y'all, but I'm not going to lie. I've been going, a girl I've been going back and forth. Like, you know, with that, it's just a lot of work trying to move, pack, and everything. I haven't packed up. Not one box. Not one. Chris said he's good at packing boxes. He's like, if I need help, he'll help me. Girl, Chris is a professional mover and a professional box packer. All he does is duck child support running state to state from single mom to single mom like a uh, uh, duh and i would hope he would help you what does he mean if you need help of course you're going to need help that's pretty much his duty at this point i mean i know he isn't packing shit but two baseball caps two nike shirts and some basketball coach shorts but i mean damn like he should help but i'm just not used to this but i'm glad that we're finally taking that next step to moving in with each other everybody was asking me it was like are you sure y'all are ready and honestly i feel like we are ready we've been together for a while and i love him he loves me we actually want more we want to you know build on our family build on our relationship we got goals that we set and we we're gonna accomplish them in 2021 period poo. first of all what idiots actually asked you are you ready to move in he already lives with you this man has lived with you since you met him obviously Oh, you really think we are boo boo the fucking fool like it's really insulting at this point you don't have to get ready for anything he lives with you already i mean you're moving to another location that's a different story but i mean same thing different day are you joking <laughs> like i literally i can't take you serious right now i really can't and as far as you guys wanting to expand I hope you're not referring to another child because Jazz, we've seen you go through it before and I really don't wish this on my worst enemy, which I don't have one. You honestly, 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 please take your time. You're already overwhelmed with the four that you have and we all know Chris is notorious for planting seeds and leaving the greenhouse, okay, if you get my drift. And I'm all for setting goals and accomplishing them. And I do hope you accomplish everything you set out to. Good luck. Good luck. And I say that with all sincerity. Let's continue. But I'm about to head to this house. Make these pieces for these kids. I don't even know if I'm going to go to my mom's house. Oh, it's just so much. She wants us to come to her house. and Because she got Amaya a bike. But I'm just like, I just, I really don't feel like driving out there. I'm not even going to lie. But I might have to just so she can go see her new bike and, you know, they can see Nana before we go because they haven't seen her in a while. I bet if that was Ava's bike, she would have gotten it the day that your mom bought it. And let me just say, it seems like you put mama neck bones on the back burner. Like she's kind of on ice right now. And I do believe that is Chris's doing. 
And I don't think you should allow him to come in between you and your mother, especially given the fact that this woman is there for you through thick and thin, like through every financial hardship. It shows since you started vlogging. I mean, from watching your kids to paying your rent. So she deserves all the respect and don't let a man come between you and your mother. That is just my observation. I'm not saying that it's factual, but listen, you only get one mom one mama neck bones okay chris especially a man <laughs> like chris men come and go this man can be here today and gone tomorrow you really might want to consider that let me head to the house and go take care of my curd let me stop acting i'll get up let me head to the house y'all though for real um kaylin keep texting me saying she's hungry so i'm about to go and cook either cook these pieces or if she probably already went in there and got some noodles or chris probably got her some noodles to be honest but she texted me when I had just got to Walmart and I was like, girl, I just got, I just got here. <laughs> so let me go take care of my kids and I will come back and update y'all later. All right, you guys, I made it back home. I literally stopped and looked at these apartments just to see their prices and they had availability for four bedrooms. Yeah, please stop acting ghetto because it's obvious you're trying to act like Liv and it's honestly not a good look. And why is Kaylin texting you or calling you from Walmart saying she's hungry when she's home with Chris. Why didn't you feed the kids before you left, first of all? And why is he not able to feed them while you aren't there? I don't get it. And then you have the audacity to come back on camera and say you stopped and viewed a couple of apartments. You know damn well Chris didn't feed them kids because if he did, Kaylin would have not been contacting you, harassing you, saying she's hungry. Like, come on, and these are the things that we speak about like it's like you go one up and then you come five down like this baby is hungry go feed your child or call that man child and tell him listen Kaylin why is Kaylin calling me when she's there with you she should be fed I cannot you really want to go view apartments while your baby's saying she's hungry good job Jazz and another thing you are really a brave mother leaving those little girls with a man that you barely know for extended periods of time i wouldn't even do it for two seconds like you're good because i could never and this is exactly why people drag you up and down these youtube streets you wonder Everything why for tomorrow so i got myself some sandals some comfortable sandals i told y'all fanny pack i got yeah, some more masks um, he got me a tank top. I got everybody shoes. And I got Kaylin this sequence heart shirt. Which one's mine? This one? Yep. And one. these shorts, y'all, look at that price. And, of course, mm -hmm. I try to get her matching as much as possible. So that's what the shorts look like. And Ava has a pair, too. Hopefully oh. she can fit it. And Aiden just has this t-shirt with some pants. And I got him this Paw Patrol hat. And I know Ava's gonna say something, so I got her one. I might just braid her hair back. That way she can wear her hat. Okay, Jazz. Um, you know, that's really good that you went out and bought everybody something for the trip. I'm sure Chris has his Nike in a cut somewhere. But um, let me just say, I'm all about bargain shop. Well, no, I'm not a lion. I love designer, but I also love a good bargain, let's be honest, who doesn't? So there's nothing wrong with with what you bought in terms of the price tag. But I have to say, <laughs> girl, the tie-dye fanny pack with the Aztec Jesus sandals, it is not a good look. I don't even know what color your swimsuit is, but I'm just like, I can see that it's already a mess. And you know, the, the things you got for the kids is really cute. And I'm glad you listened to me. I am so glad that you're gonna braid Ava's hair back because you do not need to keep putting hats on a damn afro. I am so glad you listened. And um, as far as the Paw Patrol goes, I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat, everybody's not a fashionista, right? There's nothing wrong with kids wearing characters at all. And I got these backpacks leash thingies whatever you want to call they're called um harness buddies so to keep them the twins like to walk around so i got that ava gets car sick so i got some 
medicine. And I got the girls these little cute necklaces with these headbands. And that's everything. Girl, what is everybody telling you? Those children are not puppies. It's not a leash. It's a harness. <laughs> a harness. I honestly think you're the reason why they're running around barking. The necklaces and headbands, so cute. Everything is adorable. You know, kudos to you, Jazz. I truly hope that you and the children enjoy your trip as you should. I genuinely feel that. And I'm glad that you're taking the steps to make them happy. I'm glad you're listening to the reactors you hate so much. And I'm going to leave it at that. You already know the vibes, friends. Like what you like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you down below and in the next video.